and welcome to my workshop. So today I have two programs for you. In all these episodes I'm always going to have two programs, one for advanced computers and one for simple computers. Now, today we have a password program and pass1 or just pass has the advanced computer code and pass2 has the normal computer code. And the reason why I've had to make these separate is because if you wanted your normal computer to have a password protection on it, um, the advanced program has colors on it, so the normal computer can't do colors and it will just cause a program to crash. So that's why we have two sort of programs here. So if I run the advanced computer one, uh, I'm bring up with a new terminal and it's saying, what's the password? And the reason why this password is actually pretty good is because you can't quit out of it. You can't press Control T and exit the program. It's completely confidential. So if somebody was to try and break into your computer and change the password, they couldn't. It also means that you, if you had a secret base and you didn't want anybody knowing, this would be a really secure program for uh, them to not be able to break into. So you type in what is the password type it in, in this case it's capital X Xylem, and it says correct password. And you bring it to a new terminal and you, it's all back to normal. Uh, now the pass there had uh, colored text, but pass two, because for a normal computer, doesn't have any, um, any colorful text. So if we type Xylem again, correct password, brings us back. Now if we, if I just show you what I have here, um, it's it looks pretty complex at first, but it's pretty simple actually. We have pass here, which is just your password. Um, like I said, mine's Xylem with a capital X, and you can change this to whatever you want. The rest you don't really have to fiddle with, but if you wanted to change the colors, what you've got to do is change these uh, set colors here that I, I have dotted around all over the program. Um, I always return them back to normal though, so please don't change the white, unless of course you want your default colour to be something else. Um, I also have a function called clear, um, it just clears everything that's on the screen, uh, just clears it and sets it back to the top left. So not really anything there, that's special, but still, that's, that's what it's mainly comprised of. Uh, so. I'm going to just put these on paste bin for you. So this is the advanced computer one. There we go. So this is the code you need to uh, download the advanced computer one. And this one is for the normal computer one. Um, just in case you were run wondering what part of the program lets you not be able to quit. It's this line here on line 3. os.pullevent equals os.pullevent raw. I'm just changing um, the way the program works here. Rather than running it as just a normal program, it actually runs it as a um, like a, a thing that you must go through to complete. And um, another thing, if you don't want your computer to shut down, if you enter the wrong password, you've just got to edit this line here. It could be to reboot, so it reinitializes the computer, runs the program again, or you can just make it run the program again by doing term.run and then the program name. Um, do remember though, if you lose your password, you cannot get back into this unless you've not labeled your computer. In that case, you can destroy it and get a clean computer, but you, you can't terminate the computer at all, so you have to remember what the password is. And if you wanted to run this on startup, so if we typed reboot, and we want this to, to run immediately, all we have to do is we have to go to edit to startup, and it's just one line that you have to put. It's just term.run, and then the password name. That's all you need to put. So now if we reboot, Oh, sorry, it's not term, it's uh, it's actually shell, my bad, shell.run. So 
So, there we go. Shell that run on your uh, startup program if you have one. We'll just start up the password, type in your password, correct password, and there you go. So, thank you for tuning into my first ever episode of the Xylons Workshop. Um, I don't know what I'm going to have next episode, uh, but it probably will be more complex than a password program. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for joining me in this episode. Um, and I hope you tune in next time. So I'm checking out. I'll see ya.